Welcome back fellow astronomers. My name is Eric with Astrophotography at Bordo 5. And this year I've been able to capture some pretty cool pictures of the sun using my brand new Lunt 40mm solar telescope. And I've been borrowing my Guidescope camera which is a ZWO 290mm mini camera. Because it's mini the sensor size is not as large as typical cameras. So it's been clipping my sun pictures. So I decided to go ahead and get the ZWO 178 millimeter monochrome camera and I'm about to unbox it. Come join me. Pretty excited to get this new camera for my solar photography. I got this by the way from High Point Scientific and this is an unsponsored video. Open it the wrong way. CWO ASI high speed, high sensitivity, low noise planetary camera. Here's the camera itself. Looks like we have one eyepiece. Uh, this is a cable for guiding ST4. You can use this as a guide camera as well. And we have our cables for USB 3.0 or 2.0. This looks like it is a nose piece. And we got a little instruction manual as well. Hey, so why ZWO? Well, this is my third camera and I have several other ZDO, ZWO products uh, from them and every single one of them has been amazing and top notch. ZWO has been around since uh, 2011 and they produce amazing astrophotography uh, equipment. This uh, ZWO 178 millimeter monochrome camera features a CMOS sensor and CMOSs are pretty much the greatest as far as astrophotography. The sensor on here is a 1MX178 it's back illuminated meaning that in my images I'm not going to have any ampullo on the edges. And the size of the sensor is 3096 by 2080 pixels, about 6.4 million pixels. And the pixel size is 2.4 microns, just perfect for what I need for solar and lunar photography. Speaking of size, if you get a chance, please smash that like button below. That tells YouTube to get this uh, video out to a greater audience as well. The frame rate at the max resolution is 60 frames per second and at 680 over 480 it's able to record 253.1 images per second. Pretty amazing. As I said it has two ports. The port here will go from the camera into either your computer or maybe a ZWO ASI Plus Pro Mini, whatever you might have from them. And for guiding, it also has a guide port as well, so you can use this as a guide camera. The only possible negative thing I've read on the ZW178 camera is that there is some possible grid patterns that appears in the images when doing solar photography. So I'm really anxious to get this all set up and see what kind of pictures uh, that I might get. Here are some images I've taken with my brand new camera. I hope you enjoy. Until next time, thanks for joining me on Astrophotography at Portal 5.